They are the names that once ruled the consumer electronics world. But then along came the Koreans, and now those same Japanese giants are drowning in red ink. The problem for companies like Sony and Panasonic is it's very, very difficult to make money out of making televisions these days. The technology is now well understood, and you can make them anywhere in the world. And it's much cheaper to make them in Korea or China than it is to make them here. So what are they going to do instead? This is what Hitachi has done. It's gone back to its roots in heavy engineering. Hitachi's boss believes there is a huge market for its engineering skills, especially in the developing world. Especially the developing countries, they don't have any the engineering teams. So we have, so that uh, not simply of the uh, selling of the machineries, but also that some of the, uh, the engineering plannings, in some cases that the financing schemes, those are total planning. We can do that. But if you think that Japan's electronics industry is dead, you'd be very wrong, because inside every device, like this massage chair or your car or the appliances in your home, there are thousands of tiny electronic devices. And in those, Japan still leads the world. Inside each glass flask are 100,000 electrical capacitors. These astonishing micro devices are made by a company called Morata. You may have seen the company's famous little robots, which can do this thanks to the tiny sensors that only Murata produces. It's the knowledge of how to make these components that sets Murata apart. We produce uh, the machinery uh, used in uh, production by ourselves. So there is no uh, technology available outside. So we better stick and uh, reinforce those technologies. But for companies like Panasonic and Sony, sticking to what they used to do is not an option. The whole industrial model on which they built their empires has changed. Most of the components inside this iPhone are actually made here in Japan. The phone is assembled in China, but most of the profits go back to Apple in America. And that is the new reality of making profits in electronics. It's not about making the item, it's about having the ideas.